It's another really important investigation by a remarkable group of digital detectives. It is, it is remarkable, and it's due to two big trends that are shaping the world of politics and conflict. Firstly, the explosion in digital technology, the fact that everyone now has an iPhone, which can do so many things. And secondly, the growth of democratic and not online activism, which uh, the Syrian war, the Ukrainian war, the Skripal case, it's given a target uh, for all these online activists to focus on, to dig for the truth. It's very embarrassing. But one shouldn't just judge the GRU by their failures because they have had many successes as well. I think the last couple of operations have failed, but maybe that's due to overstretch or overambition on their part. But they have mounted successful operations elsewhere and continue to do so to this set day. And morality apart, the Crimean annexation, to get soldiers to act in such a nuanced and subtle way was a remarkable achievement. So they are very formidable, so one shouldn't just write them off because they have messed up this operation and they made a mistake in the Montenegro coup as well by clearly not pulling that off.